Okay, so this video is on the second assignment that is done inside in class for the second day of the AI workshop. So it's day two, assignment number two. This one is on the scheme that we just went over. So if you'd like to go through this assignment, you've already installed and downloaded, and this is the URL we did. If you just if you were following along and you have your computer, you've already got it installed. You may also work on this one as well as the first one if you run out of time. They both of them are two activities for today. What you're going to do is you're going to go through this little thing here that's going to run you through basically what I did in the lecture. So you can probably skip through some of it if you want. It's going to show you, you know, type in this and it adds it together and it equals this and make sure all this stuff is working. <coughs> and it can basically test to see if you can figure out how to run it. There's an external file. That's the one I just loaded up, actually, that says reply on it. And uh, here's the code for the reply, actually. And then uh, there's some syntax for it. And then down the bottom, you see three questions, low and a hole. Lo and behold, it's in increments of three because the assignment's worth three points. <laughs> so question number one, write a scheme function that removes the last element from a given list. Hint, hint. It's probably in the lecture. <laughs> Uh, assignment number two, write a factorial function in Scheme that calculates the factorial of a given number. For example, factorial six. Hint, hint, unless you were sleeping, you saw me do it. <laughs> Find it yourself. <laughs> it's in the lecture. Uh, last one is not in the lecture. Last, okay, so the first two I give you. The second one, you have to find them. It's a scavenger hunt. Actually, not really. It's Actually, forget it. Number three, write a function called how many that takes a list of symbols and returns the number of symbols in the list. For example, how many ABC returns three? How many empty set returns zero? How many one, two, three, four, five returns five? Do not use the length. However, you can use the length and put it in your own user defined function, and you're going to get how many. But you have to figure out how to create a function that runs length. It's not hard. Extremely easy. I gave you the length, actually. Well, how many is going to run length if you want to do it that way? You don't have to do it that way. You can do it any way you want. Actually, you can use a CDR with a counter. Remove it, remove it, remove it, remove it. <laughs> or actually, you can use, excuse me, not a CDR, a car with a counter. Or you can use a CDR plus one. Remove it. Remove all the items. Well, no, then you still have to do a count on it. There's a lot of creative ways you can do that one, actually. But this one is not hard either. These two are given for you. This one's not hard. So you can go ahead and use your scavenger hunt, get your scheme working together. What you need to turn in is just, you can put it in a Word file. It doesn't have to be in a scheme file. If it is a scheme file, it's just a text file. Just give me the functions is what I want. I don't need to see the input and the output. But if you want to, you can do screenshots and put it in a Word file and send it to me that way as well. Depends on what you're comfortable with. So this isn't hard. There's going to be another assignment that I'm going to go over tomorrow that's going to be a take-home assignment that's going to be a little bit more challenging. But this is to get you up to speed on Scheme so that you can actually you know, like write some stuff in it. It forces you to look at it, essentially. Any questions on this one? Nope. Well, then I killed another bird here, so let me end this video.